natural beauties and welcome back to my channel. My name is Bibi and I'm here to help you fall in love with your skin again. Now in the previous weeks I have gone through the five basic steps on what you can do to get your skin glowing again and to fall in love with your natural skin. So what I'm going to do for you today is I'm going to show you what I actually do on my skin in the evenings before I go to bed. So basically it's going to be a get and ready with me video, so to speak. I'll show you what I use, I'll show you how I use it, and then of course I'll give you some tricks, tricks, wow, some tricks and tips on things that you can do in the evening or even in the morning if you want to, on how to treat your skin and of course be delicate about it. Now a quick disclaimer. This video is not sponsored. Everything in this video I've purchased myself because I actually like these products. I believe in these products and I can see the results on my own skin and in some cases my client's skin and I know that they work. So that's all the bubbling we need to do for now. Let's get into it and let me show you what I do on my skin. Let's go. So whether I wear makeup the day or not, I'm always going to go in with a gel or a foam cleanser first to get all the worst and most of the makeup or debris for the day or for sunblock, whatever I may have used throughout the day, just to make sure I get the most of it all first. And then of course I will cleanse the neck as well because this is part of the skin. Rinse my face and then I will pat dry it with a towel. I don't like to rub my skin as this can pull on the skin and cause fine lines and wrinkles prematurely. And of course, prevention is key. After I've cleansed my face for the first time, I will then go in a second time with a micellar water and just wipe this all over my skin because even though you do wash your face, it doesn't necessarily take off everything that was stuck on your skin throughout the day especially if you do wear makeup also i won't forget to go into my hairline with the micellar water because the debris that build up in the hairline can cause breakouts and we do tend to forget to cleanse that far up then i'm going to take my conditioner or if you use a toner that will do the same thing and then of course just wipe it all over my skin to make sure that i close my pores again that I put my acid mantle back on. The acid mantle, of course, is the natural protection that your skin has to protect you from bacteria and viruses. So I'm just gonna make sure that I put that back onto the skin. And then I'm gonna start treating my skin. Now, the first thing I will add to my skin in the evening will be an active lotion. Now, this has a very high concentration on alpha hydroxy acids in, and it's really good for resurfacing the skin, evening out the skin tone, evening out the skin texture as well. It is, however, a very tr strong treatment, sometimes tends to tingle a little bit because of all the alpha hydroxy acids. And it's also not something that I'm going to do every single night because it's so strong. So this is a treatment that I'll do alternatively. One night I'll do it and the next night I won't. I also like to pat it into the skin and then just give it a little bit of time to settle and sink in before I go into the next treatment. Then I'll go ahead and treat my eyes. Now I always use my ring finger because remember the delicate skin around the eye is very soft and can damage very easily and your ring finger is the weakest finger that you have so I'll always just use slight patting motions soft sliding motions just until I feel everything has penetrated. Now I'm going to go in with my face serum. Now face serums you can choose whichever ones you want. You get for hydration, you get for pigmentation, you get for resurfacing. You get so many different types of face serums. Me at the moment I just want to try out the new age intelligent range from Nemu. So and of course eh, preventing aging for me is very important. So then I'll just go in with that, wipe it all over the skin, also the neck area as well, and then pat it in just to feel that everything is into the skin. And then when I'm finished, I'll wait a minute or so just for it to penetrate before I go into the last step, which will then be my night moisturizer, 
which is a very thick and creamy moisturization that I put on my skin in the evening just to feed and nourish my skin throughout the evening, put back all the nutrition and food that it needs just to relieve the stress of the day and just to help with healing my skin throughout the evening when I am resting and of course when my body is preparing itself. Once again, I will wipe this all over my skin very softly, very gently on the neck as well. Make sure you always go in upwards motions because we want to work against the law of gravity that pulls everything down and makes it sag. So make sure you always work in upward motions to prevent the skin from sagging. Then if I have the evening and I remember, I will take a little bit of my eye cream and put it around my lips just to help. The skin around the lips is very similar to the skin around your eyes. So it does help with the fine lines and wrinkles that form around the lips. So you're more than welcome to do that. It is really, really nourishing and it really helps to plump up the lips as well. And that's it. And that's all I have for you for this evening get unready with me video. So these are just a couple of things that I do to my skin in the evening. And if you've liked what you see, and you learned something new don't forget to give it a thumbs up share it with your friends leave me comments below add something if you want to ask me a question if there's anything else you want me to cover please don't hesitate to put that in the comments below don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button so you can see my following videos to come so until i meet all my natural beauties again have a wonderful day and i'll see you all soon Goodbye.